talk about it out of an intro, but I have woken up with an idea and I just did it. <laughs> so this wasn't planned, but yesterday morning I woke up and the first thing I thought was, oh my God, you should build an abandoned, abandoned pool for your zoo. That was the first thing I thought. And then, and that was so creepy. I went on Pinterest because I like to scroll through Pinterest to wake up. And one of the first things I see is someone building like an abandoned pool in Animal Crossing. I play a lot of Animal Crossing, so I look a lo at a lot of um, inspiration stuff there. So uh, it was not crazy, but it was crazy that it was an abandoned pool when I just thought of that. And so I was like, okay, this is a sign. We're going to build it. Um, and uh, I, I don't know. I actually wanted to, you know, kind of get to, to finish it up with the abandoned map um, and not add more like, I guess, features. Um, but I don't know, abandoned pools are so creepy, so creepy. Uh, if you look at old, like, old, not old pictures, just pictures of old pools that are like, um, empty and they're like not filled with water, that is so weird because you're not really aware how deep a pool is, how weird it is. And also like, I personally have a weird fear of falling into pools. Like I'm i'm suspicious of pools it's not like i'm scared but like i'd rather not be there so uh maybe i'm the only person who finds it creepy when they're empty but um i also i considered doing it in uh the like the the smooth ones where you can skateboard in um but i don't know i don't know that would have been cool though because like that would kind of um I feel like make it more lively if you looked at it and think, oh, okay, so people come here to skateboard, but um, that's honestly also pretty hard to build uh, in um, in Planet Zoo. So uh, also, I feel like this the look of an abandoned pool, like dirty and stuff. It, it's more of a squared pool. It no science behind it. I can't tell you why, but that's how I feel. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, yeah, it was a squared pool. It has this like little. Um, I want to say stage, I guess, because uh, I felt like, you know, um, uh, I, you like sea lion shows and stuff. The thing is, like, I was considering doing a dolphin thing, but I knew that it would have to be bigger. That would be very hard to detail. And I also knew that, you know, thinking of how this zoo is supposed to be upgraded by people, um, I guess it would have been kind of stupid to have anyone um you know upgrade like a giant pool uh if they were to not put dolphins in if that makes sense so also i wouldn't i don't really know how big these things were in the past and like i didn't really want to date uh this pool in terms of like giving it a date when this was like when this zoo was built, like, I don't want to go that deep into it. However, because I obviously looked at old dolphin pools for this, um, I do think what would be cool um, if you follow the old timey zoo project kind of thing to maybe do it there um, to build because I, I considered I considered it and I was like, OK, but the older pictures, a lot of them have indoor pools. And I didn't want to build a whole building uh, because I feel like that is also pretty hard to um, to upgrade if you were to play with the zoo. So it didn't feel right. But uh, what I now think is maybe we can build a old dolphin show thing in the old timey zoo. Um, and I look more into how big they used to be. Um, but I did find some old pictures and also some pictures of just like old like uh indoor swimming pool for people um that i do think look quite nice that would quite fit the old timey zoo so i was thinking maybe i built one there and then we can take it transfer it over to the abandoned zoo and make an abandoned version of it um but i really don't see myself building an entire abandoned huge building with a huge pool um but yeah, I'm also excited to see how uh, things like this will be tackled by other people because this is obviously not very pretty of a pool, but you can naturalize it maybe or... Okay, I, I have to... I always have to remind myself not to talk about how I would do it because I don't want to give it away. Like, I want to... I, I don't want to... Because I feel like 
when you hear what someone else is doing, it kind of stops you from being creative. If you have no input whatsoever, that's the most creative. I guess, no, that's not true. If you have no, not another person's direction to already tinned what you can think of, that is, I feel like more, I feel more creative that way. So, um, I don't, I don't want to talk too much about how I would do it, how I would play with this, what I would do with it. Um, and as always, like if you are to ever update this abandoned map, make it your own, you can also just get rid of it. Um, I mean, you know, technically you could just get rid of everything and bulldoze it and make it flat, but that's not really the point. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I don't know. That's, uh, that's what I wanted to do, but... Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Well, I, oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't forget that I promised in the um, theme park series, I promised that I was gonna talk about how I did a whole co, 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 co oh my God. Course, co, university course uh, worth of work uh, in one night. So my entire year's project, I did one night uh, about uh, a designer. It was a lot of work and I, I said I was going to talk about it and some people said that they wanted to hear it, which is cool. Um, this is not the video though, because I definitely need, definitely need more than four minutes for that. Um, Cause I, I don't know, I've, I, I think now I would just like rush through it. So I, I try to save that for a long video. I honestly thought that this was going to be longer. I'm uh, very surprised. It only took uh, like an hour and 45 seconds, <laughs> minutes, not seconds, um, to, to build this one, which is probably one of the fastest things I've ever built. Um, but I have to say this whole abandoned thing is so much fun. It's, it's also comes pretty naturally to me. Maybe that's because I live in a big city and there's a lot of like not so pretty areas and I see this stuff all the time, but um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it doesn't have to be perfect and things can be broken. If it doesn't line up well and it's broken, you know, that is very, uh, very freeing in a way and, you know, uh, overgrown stuff and just like chaos i think it's quite pretty and i will do a tour of this even though this is not really a cohesive park and there's no animals to see i do think it looks really cool kind of eerie you know uh but i also oh my god i know i've talked about it when we started the series but i just love uh people like urban exploring um like old abandoned buildings and uh my cousin actually she used to live next to this like in her city it was kind of infamous like nobody else knew it but in her city it was kind of infamous that this was like a creepy like a creepy house and like there were so many rumors of like murders that happened there but um it was honestly it was it was just a house that no one lived in anymore that was overgrown and kind of broken there was a house like that uh actually fairly close to where i live um and i don't know i think as a kid it's like oh that's so creepy there's probably like a super 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 scary story behind it but like as an adult you just kind of walk past it and you're just like oh no one's buying that <laughs> which is so sad if we say that out loud but yeah i don't know but i've never seen an abandoned pool um <laughs> uh but I do think they're quite creepy, but also that's maybe just because I think pools in general are kind of creepy. You know what? You know why I think they're creepy? My parents used to tell me that if you run in a swimming pool, you're gonna slip and crack your head open. And they painted a very visual picture of what was gonna happen when your head cracks open. And so now I'm in my twenties and I still, whenever I'm in like a, at like a swimming pool, like any nat unnatural body of water, I'm like, constantly thinking someone is going to is going to die like i've not let go of that like swimming in an ocean or swimming in a lake is okay but obviously because i'm also scared of the pools i'm not a very good swimmer so swimming in an ocean or in a lake is also kind of stressful because um i mean i will do it because i'm not that scared of it but also 
Now that I think about it, in my last holiday, uh, which is years ago, because a certain panini was uh, the thing we did for a couple of years, um, I fell off a boat <laughs> um, because, uh, yeah, that, that was something. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, all around, not that many great memories of water uh kind of kind of suspicious of it um but yeah oh i love these overgrown things i love everything overgrown i know that i do it in my regular zoos as well but with this i don't even feel like it's unrealistic it unrealistically overgrown i i feel like i should challenge myself to a super manicured garden one day because i would die um <laughs> But anyway, see you in the real time part because we're almost done. I just love with these abandoned things how there's like no movement except for the grass like swaying in the wind. It's so creepy. I love it. Um, okay. Uh, also, if you look at these things for too long, they start to look like a person. Oh, I love this. Okay, so... There was an attempt made to stop people from falling in, but, well, that didn't work. Um, so yeah, we just have some old stuff lying about, like always. Um, oh, if you stand here, that's so creepy. And so we look down here. A lot of, like, broken walls. These decals, they really changed this entire game. Um... So yeah, like stuff falling into. Someone attempted to clean it up, at least. Um, you know. I also, this was like, you know, these things were just like poking through from the terraforming. And, you know, I went with it. Um, and this I also really like. I feel like these are different layers of broken, you know? Like, this is the core of it. But this is like, you know, in between, you know? I don't know. Um... And also we have these like statues then and one is broken like that. I feel like, you know, maybe there was like statues somewhere of the sea lions that may have lived here, which is the only time actually I want to point that out that I suggest what kind of animal was in here um, because I feel like that's the only one that makes sense here. Um, but you don't have to use them, but they're there. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I think this is also something that's going to be so much fun for you guys to, you know, update and um, work with. And I don't know. I also think it just looks creepy. <laughs> um, so let's go through all this. Uh, I think debris is what you call this stuff. I think this looks so cool. Like, imagine climbing down there. That's so creepy. Um, more stuff this one we stole from the little um the little exhibit that we built in the very first episode um and i quite love how this looks like it really actually overgrown it um yeah no i love this i i just i love all the abandoned builds but i don't know this just creeps me out so much and people were stealing sand from it. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I pointed that out, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, so um, let me get let me get to one of the creepier looks down here. So this this is a good a good view. Okay, so oh my god, I just almost knocked nail polish off my desk. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this quick little video uh i hope to see you around another time let me know what you think that was weird no that was wrong let me know what you think i hope to see you around another time bye that was how i do it